You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, talent is just overriding everything. You know what I'm saying? You saw that. Is. I have to in Canada, Rick Rose got fucked up, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his bodyguards need to resign, nigga. Bro, them bro, niggas, bro. They failed the number one thing. They ain't got nobody body, including their own. Son, <laughs> I mean, son, one nigga just stayed son, down there. Son, son, yes, them. something right. <laughs> <laughs> something ain't right. What's going on? <laughs> but man, I, I can go this for all day with y'all. <laughs> Keep them up, right. man. Right. 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 Yo, yo, yo. Let me see those. Let me, let me just, uh, that's that Harlem Hunt 25th Street, that man. Yeah, I yeah. That. That's five, that grand. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. It's 50 Cent has once again took most shots at Rick Ross for the incident that went down this weekend in Vancouver, Canada, when he was out there to show him his crew and his bodyguard was jumped out there when they was getting ready to leave a show. People were saying that they played the Not Like Us. I can't confirm exactly why it went down and what got it to that point, but it did get real out there for a second. Now, 50 Cent already and spoke on it before, but you see right here, he was on live with Keith Sweat and Earthquake, who's a comedian, and they got the joking and laughing, and 50 Cent brought it up out of nowhere. Now, to my understanding, yesterday, 50 was going live with several people and things like that. He got a whole big event coming up in Shreveport as he just got his production company out there and that big business in the building, so he using all that to promote. Now, him going at Rick Ross, if you don't know 50 Cent, this is all his brand. This is all his lane. It's like he has this mentality of, hey, I'm going to use my beef and my issue with people and always have it in the back of my mind to capitalize on moments and make them be profitable for me in many ways. Where, hey, am I really turned up and tripped out with Rick Ross like this or anything like that? But nah, me and that nigga got issues. I don't like him. We done went back and forth online all the way back to the old days when Ross was dropping the Deeper Than Rap album, and that time, I think that was 08, 09, but he like, hey, I can still use this to promote what I got going on right now, so he gonna capitalize on it, that's just who 50 Cent is, that's just part of his brand, he came in the game that way, and it looked like he gonna stay in the game that way, that's just what he do, I'm promoting a brand, I'm clowning Ross, and I'm gonna get all this at one time, 50 Cent always been on this, so it is what it is with him, now, uh, earthquake comedian, he gonna joke, he gonna laugh, Keith Sweat, he singing that old classic Keith Sweat song, something just ain't right. But a lot of people felt the way now I see with what Uncle Luke had to say earlier today. And I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta really look at what he's getting at. He said, you know, hey bro, I get that these rappers diss each other's own records, they make tweets and post about each other and stuff. But once you incite and hype the violence. If you were involved in this situation, you versus me, something happened to me that got violent in your area, your code, your jurisdiction, it's like, oh, you co-signing that now for that to happen to me because me and you are directly into it. So I get what Uncle Luke was getting at with that overall message. People took it as, oh man, y'all didn't say nothing when this was going on, what about them mocking him or that? And as I told y'all, words can be disrespectful. I can't tell nobody how to react and how to feel about a situation or how to move to each his own. But I get what Uncle Luke is saying because once this incident went down, I seen it in my comments for myself and certain people gonna feel that way. And this ain't just no internet comment type of stuff. People been on that type of time, just like they felt disrespected in Canada. Did they know Drake personally? Did they have an everyday relationship with Drake or did they feel disrespected because he did something out there and they feel like well hey we taking the shot as well well by drake going to like that comment some people might feel like well hold on 
this with you on. Well, when you come out here, we on that with you. Now, we know Drake is going to be prepared. Nothing going to happen to Drake. Drake going to be straight. We don't want nothing to happen to Drake, and there's no need for that at all. But what Uncle Luke is saying is that, hey, once you start engaging yourself in that violence, liking comments, joking and clowning when somebody, when he get physical and get real, it's like you might not die. You might only be sending it to that person. But it's like, who are these guys now? What do they got going on? So other people going to receive it a certain way. Even out to L.A., they might feel like, not all. We not saying everybody. It's never 100%. When these videos happen, these engagements happen online, everybody's going to have a different opinion. Somebody might feel like, hey, bro, nigga, hold on, nigga, you, you, you mad about that song? You got something against L.A.? Or are you are you that tripping with the whole city where y'all gonna jump niggas for playing the record? Oh, it's that heavy now. We own that. And one thing about fans, bro, fans get over invested, and you don't know where they where they coming from. You don't know what they own. We just seen fans get over invested in this game at times. So it's two sides of it. It's the entertainment side and it's the real side. And Uncle Luke was speaking the real earlier from that aspect of it, but people took it as, oh, it's this, it's that, it's that. Nah, he just shedding light on it, bro. We see how these fans get down, my nigga. We just see fans get overly invested in rap beef, go try to rob rappers, try to expose rappers, to go and post it on the blog. We just see uh, this rapper fans run up on this rapper and, and do something because they into it. He just telling the people at times, you got to kind of come out and think about what you're doing, what you're engaging with, because you're kind of creating that mindset of, oh, well, now nah, my fans feel like they got to get their lick back on you, or when you in my city, they going to try to get back at you, and that ain't what we want at all. Rapping on music, dissing each other in songs, trolling each other online is two different things than, hey, a nigga getting beat up or kicked on, so a security guard hit and kicked, and then, oh, you liking that as well. That means you are engaging, and like you co-signing that. Yeah, that's what we trying to do. That's what we trying to get off on right now. Was Ross and being disrespectful? Of course he was, but they both been being disrespectful. But once you get out there and they get physical, then they can take the gloves off on things, and that just ain't what we want, bro. They both been dissing each other. Drake been uh, jumping back out there, going at everybody, going at him. As he should, nigga. We ain't telling Drake to fold or nothing like that. But you just got to know at times, okay, nah, this is getting a little bit different. This rapping back and forth, I'm with that all day if they going to keep it rap. But tell me what y'all think, man. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.